we have a concurrent force system. One force is F, one force is P, one force is Q. Are they passing through common point D? And the force F equals to what? 50 Newton. This force is what? 150 Newton. We want to find out the force in what? Q. And what about the resultant? The resultant of the three forces is parallel to what? Y axis. Does it mean that R bar equal to 0i may be plus minus Ry times J plus 0k. You are sure about X component and Z component. You are not sure about Y component. First of all, we will find out coordinates. This one is traveling about which axis? Z axis. And from this point we are moving upward. So this one is parallel to what? Positive of Y. So positive of Y is 3 and positive of Z is 4. So what is the coordinate of point A? Z. Sorry. Point A. X is 0. Y is plus 3. And Z is what? 4. What is the coordinate of point B? Is lying on negative of Z axis. 0, comma, 0, comma, minus 3. What is the coordinate of point C? Is lying on X axis. 4 plus 4, 8. 8, comma, 0, comma, 0. It's a 4, comma, 10, comma, 0. Correct? Force are already given to you. So, we'll one by one, we'll prepare for them. So, right. F bar equals to F. Directed from where? D to A. So, D A bar upon mod of D A bar. F is 90. What is D A? D A is A minus D. 0 minus 4. Minus 4 I. 3 minus 10. Minus 7 J. 4 minus 0. 4 K. Upon under root of 4 square plus 7 square plus 4 square 9. So, what is F bar? This one is 90, this is 9, is 10. 10 multiplied by this minus 40 R minus 70 J plus 40 K. B bar is directed from D to B. So this one is B into DB bar upon mod of DB bar. Value of P is 1. B minus D. B minus D. 0 minus 4. Minus 4 I. 0 minus 10. Minus 10 J. Minus 3 0. Minus 3k upon under root of 4i minus 10j minus 3k. So after substitution your final value is minus 53.57i minus 133.92j and minus 40.18k. Now last force is Q force. So Q bar is directed from D to C. So DC divided by mod of dc so we don't know q dc dc is what c minus d 8 minus 4 4 i 0 minus 10 minus 10 j 0 minus 0 0 k upon under root of 4 square plus 10 square plus 0 square 10.77 Now divide each number in terms of Q. Okay, that is the last step and now we will perform the final step. Your resultant is given by this way. We have three forces 1, 2, 3. So let's write the resultant value is R bar equals to F bar plus P bar 
plus q bar r bar is 0 i maybe plus minus r y j that we don't know plus 0 k now we'll collect the coefficients of i j k one by one from 1 to 3 so we have minus 40 from this one we have minus 53.57 and from this one is plus 0.37 q <coughs> times i now we'll collect coefficient of j minus 70 minus 133.92 minus 0.92 times q this one is our j collection plus now collect coefficient of k that is 40 minus 40.18 40 k and plus 0 k so actually this is only 40.48 and plus 0 is k now compare coefficient now check your value of i on the left hand side i coefficient is 0 on the right hand side we have minus 40 and this is minus uh, 93.57 plus 0.37 q so this answer says that q equals to we can solve for this also is it possible or not possible not possible so this is okay now can we find out the value of r y now so coincidentally this is come out to be but is this value is zero no almost zero almost zero okay okay no problem what about r y so for this we will go for j so right r y equals to minus 70 and this one is minus 133 minus 70 and 133 is minus 201 203.92 and minus of 0.92 q into 252 0.89 it means that RY is going downward.